Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing three quick and easy breakfasts to help you and your family get out of the house on those busy mornings. So now I'm baking baked ham and egg cups. I have a muffin tin that I have heavily sprayed with cooking oil, and I'm taking a slice of ham, and I am using um, this ham from Aldi, but you just need any deli style thin sliced ham and you're just gonna lay it in the muffin tin just like this. And you'll probably have to fold it to make it fit in there. So kind of like a little flower, just like that. Next, you're gonna take your cheese of choice and put about a tablespoon or so in the bottom of each muffin tin. And I am using a cheddar cheese blend but again, if you wanna use Monterey Jack cheese, if you want to use Swiss cheese, whatever you prefer is what you'll use. Next, you're going to crack an egg into each well. Now, I personally like to break my yolk open. Um, you don't have to do that, of course, just a personal preference. I always like to make sure that my eggs are cooked all the way through. Howard and I aren't into um, you know, raw eggs, so I'm just cracking them. I'm just breaking them open right now. Now, if you want to salt and pepper your eggs, you can do that right now. I'm just adding a little bit of salt because we've already got the ham and that cheese in there and a little bit of pepper. Now I'm gonna top my um, egg cups with a little bit of green onion. And again, if you know your family's not into the onion, of course you can leave it out. So now I'm just going to pop this in the oven. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're set. I just took the ham and egg cups out of the oven. I am going to let these cool for a few minutes and then I'll pull one out and cut one open so you all can see what the inside looks like. Okay, so I pulled the um, egg cups out of the muffin tin and they were really easy to come out. Um, like I said, if you heavily oil that muffin tin, you should not have any problem because that ham kind of crisp up for you. And then I have one that I cut open and I did end up baking mine for about 21 minutes, but you can see that bottom layer right there is the cheese. Then you've got the egg and the onion. If you wanted to add other types of vegetables like mushrooms or bell peppers, that would be delicious too. These are so tasty and easy to make. Today we're making quick and easy cinnamon roll French bread. You're going to need some softened butter, cinnamon and nutmeg, vanilla, brown sugar, and a loaf of French bread or Italian bread. For the glaze, you're going to need vanilla, heavy whipping cream, and powdered sugar. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our cinnamon roll topping. So I am adding in my brown sugar, vanilla, and my spices, and I'm gonna stir it up until it is well combined. And this is what it looks like. So now we're gonna mix up the icing. I've got my powdered sugar in there, adding in my vanilla, and I'm going to add in my heavy whipping cream. and I'm just gonna set this aside. So I've got my French bread here and I cut it in half with a serrated knife. I'm only gonna be making half a recipe. Now, if you have a larger family, you might wanna make you know the entire loaf of French bread, but half a loaf is just fine for my small family. And I'm just gonna take that mixture and I'm gonna lather it all over that bread. All right, so now I am going to pop this in the oven. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees, and I'm gonna let this bake for about 25 minutes. Okay, so I took the French bread out of the oven and I let it cool for maybe about five minutes, and then I cut it into slices. And now all I'm doing is just drizzling that icing mixture over the bread. And that's all there is to it. Quick and easy recipe. Wanted to show you the bottom of that bread, that butter and brown sugar melt on top and then kind of seep underneath the bread and it is so good. 
So now we are making ham, egg, and cheese pockets, and this is the puff pastry that I am using. I am using one out of the two puff pastries that come in the box, and the other puff pastry I have in the refrigerator. So I have my puff pastry here on a lightly floured um, mat here, and all I am doing is just cutting where those fold lines are, cutting down and I'm cutting across. Each puff pastry sheet is going to give you three pockets. So now all I'm going to do is transfer my puff pastry onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Now, this is the ham that I'm gonna be using. It's just regular deli ham, thinly sliced. And then I am using white cheddar. Now you can use whatever cheese you would like. And all you're gonna do is take your cheese and you'll probably have to break it in half and then just place it on the puff pastry. And as you can see, I only have three pieces down. That's because the other three pieces are going to go on top. So I've got my cheese down, and now I'm going to take my scrambled eggs. I made five scrambled eggs, and then you're just gonna season them however you want. And you are just going to put it on top of that cheese. Next, you're gonna take two slices of ham, and you're just gonna lay them right on top. There's one and two. Now you're gonna take your other pieces of puff pastry and you're just gonna put them on top, just like that. Now you're gonna use a fork and just go all the way around the edges to seal the two pieces of dough together. And you may have to stretch the dough a little bit to make it work, but it's pretty easy. Okay, so I've got these all sealed, and now I'm going to get the other piece of puff pastry and do the same exact thing. Okay, I've got all of my puff pastries ready to go. Now all I'm doing is applying a wash. I am using heavy whipping cream. I don't really care for egg washes, but you could certainly reserve some of that egg mixture uh, before you scramble your eggs. You could reserve some of that to uh, use as an egg wash. You're just gonna brush, brush, brush. Okay, so these are ready to go into the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and I am going to bake these for about 20 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, so here they are. I just took them out of the oven and they have been cooling for about five minutes. I cut one open so you all could see the inside. So here you are, super quick and easy. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.